As part of BBB's Give.org Building Trust series, we're Skyping today with Rabbi Yaquil Ekstein, founder and president, International Fellowship of Christians and Jews. How are you today, Rabbi? Good, thank you. Good to be with you. Rabbi, tell us about how the fellowship got started back in 1983. Well, it got started out of a vision that I had really to build bridges of understanding and healing and cooperation between Christians and Jews. Little did I know then that we would become one of the largest um, organizations in America, nonprofits, and that we would indeed become such a worldwide force helping uh, so many people. We help 1.5 million people each year all over the world with food, with medicine, with heating fuel, with security. We help persecuted Christians, persecuted Jews. So uh, we're the largest philanthropy now in Israel. Tell us about some of the biggest challenges you faced and, and maybe ones that you face now in achieving your vision. The challenges that I faced at the outset were um, uh, really very strong. Uh, number one, it was a one-man show. I didn't have, I started it from nothing. I didn't have salary. I didn't have health insurance. I didn't have anything. And I had a lot of people on both sides of the aisle saying, you're going to change 2,000 years of history. The first challenge that I had to face over the past X number of years um, were to keep your integrity. So we take the donor's gifts very seriously, and we try to make as much use of every dollar that is given to us, and that is our commitment to our donors. Rabbi, would you tell me what it means to your organization to be a BBB accredited charity? When we became a BBB accredited charity, it was, I believe, a major milestone for us. Getting the BBB uh, a seal of approval um, instills in those who see our material a feeling of trust. Hey, this organization is trustworthy. Rabbi, I really want to thank you for uh, spending this time with us. And we just wish you all the success in everything that you set out to do. Thank you. I appreciate that.